What's up, everybody? I'm Eddie Young, and I had this idea. Um, if you notice, my Warrior Wednesdays have gotten shorter in time, so I'm not spending a lot of time unpacking things. And there's normally a story behind why I'm telling you what I'm telling you. Um, so I just figured, why not just hop on, give you a little something a little bit longer, a little bit more in depth. Um, so a few weeks ago, um, I dropped something on you about, hey, make sure you know that little distraction that you have, it just might be a blessing to somebody else. And let me tell you why. Um, you may not know, but I picked up a little part-time job at the YMCA working in the weight room. Nothing too crazy, nothing wild. Um, and I went in one day. It was my day off of, on a Tuesday. I had to go in there, check the schedule, get some more things together, make a deposit, and then get to class. Um, my, my class is like an hour away. So I had a little bit of time. I had to make sure that I, get, that I got those things done. Um so I go in there and it's one of my older co co-workers. Um, she says, hey, and like, hey, can you work such and such day? It's like, no, I can't do that. OK, well, what about this day? It's like, no, I can't do that either. Um, she says, so the reason I'm asking is because I just found out my brother passed away. Um, he passed away a couple of days ago and we have to go up um, for the funeral. And honestly, I just can't afford to be worried about about here. But if you could have picked up some shifts, that's fine. And as we were talking, I remembered that she had literally lost her mother about a month ago. And as someone who's lost their father, I just remembered those feelings and the, the raw emotion at the time. I was um, honestly surprised that she was still there working at that moment, considering the news that she had. And, you know, we talked, we shared a little bit about grief and loss and um, how things change after these major life events. Uh, we shared a little quick moment and I turned around and looked back at the schedule. Um, and I looked back, I, I turned back to her and I saw her wiping away tears. And even though I had to go, I know I had to get up out of there. I walked over to her, put my hand on her shoulder and said, it's gonna be okay. And it hurts right now, but just keep, keep faith keep believing. Um, whenever you need to talk, just let me know, let somebody know, but it's going to be okay. Um, and y'all, that lady just boohoo cried on my shoulder. She let just a little bit of that out. Um, and like I said, it would have been really easy for me to just walk up in there, do what I needed to do and leave. But she needed somebody to talk to in that moment. And I'm thankful that God allowed me to do that. And um, the scripture that kind of brought all this up for me was the story of the parable of the Good Samaritan. Um, if you got your Bibles, you know, go to Luke chapter 10. Um, the whole section is verses 25 through 37. Um, but just that section about the Good Samaritan itself, um, Jesus picks up um, verse number 30. And it's kind of crazy because um, one of the guys, the guy who actually brings this up, the kind of starts this whole thing. He's actually trying to trick Jesus. It's like, well, who is my neighbor? You know, who should I be good to? Who should I be kind to? Um, and isn't it crazy how sometimes when people look at the Bible, they're not looking for ways to do what Jesus says to do, but they're looking for ways out of it. Hmm. Imagine that. I mean, that's exactly what this Pharisee was trying to do. He was like, who can, who can I not be neighborly to? Who can I treat me? Who can I be disrespectful to? But in this parable, Jesus outlines the story of a man who is about the Samaritan. I mean, excuse me, about this man who's traveling along the road. Um, and these roads have lots of twists and turns and robbers and stealers and people who are trying to fight people and trying to hurt people there. Um, they're lurking around the corner. So this man literally gets jumped. He gets beat up. He gets attacked. And the guys, they they take what they, what they want and they leave him for dead. And all these other people pass by and they leave him. They, they see him in pain. They see him in agony. They see him hurting and they just walk by. So we're talking about a priest season, um, a Levite season. Um, but the Samaritan, the person who is of the three, probably the least, the lowliest of them, right? Um, he sees this guy in a ditch, beat up, and he hops off his horse, puts the beat up guy on his horse, 
takes him to a place where he can get healthy, where he can get well, says, whatever he needs, put it on my tab. I'll take care of it. I'll pay for it. If anything is missing, I'll fix it when I get back. Family, when we see someone who is hurting, when we see someone who, who is in need, I know we all got busy schedules. We all got a lot to do. I am not diminishing what you have on your schedule, what you have on your plate. But I'm asking you, please, please, please see how you can help that person who's in need. See how you can help that person who is down under luck. See how you can help that person who they just might need somebody to talk to in that moment. You never know. You never know what your brief encounter what your brief conversation with that person will do for them so hey i don't have a catchy phrase for this one no title just yet if you got something let me know um, i just want to dig in a little bit deeper let you know exactly what i'm thinking and what i gave you on that warrior wednesday so we'll see y'all next time whatever that is god bless you peace